what's going on everybody it's a nice gloomy day for maintenance so uh we got them both here and this was actually a requested video a couple of times but i, I never had the opportunity to um to do a, a a comparison because i didn't have two of the trailers that were alike so now we're going to run through it we're going to do an oil bath hub versus a grease hub uh, the maintenance on both. I'm going to do a maintenance on the oil bath. I'm going to do maintenance on one hub, one hub each, one oil bath, one grease. I'll show you the differences, what you need, how long each take, and um, we'll do kind of a side by side comparison. Uh, the oil bath is definitely going to get done first, so uh, we'll see how quick these take, and uh, I'll show you the processes involved for each one. So let's run to it. Do a quick comparison here. That oil bath and then a grease right here next to each other gonna knock them both out uh, if you guys want to see where I got these uh, caps these are actually from Valcrum and uh, they are aluminum and I as as far as I've seen they, they're much more sturdy than the plastic caps and uh, I've had some people tell me that there was some issues with those leaking I haven't had any issues with them leaking uh, on the other hand, with these hammer-on caps, there's no way to seal it. It's just really metal up against metal. And the way you get these off is it uh, you can beat it around with a hammer if you want to, but I've found that uh, you, you still have to get a, a flathead in there to wedge it out a little bit. Uh, that does scar up the surface a little bit. You can't sand that down. Uh, it's nothing major. It's just you know stuff like that because i actually did this side the other day uh i'm finishing with the opposite side it'll be the side we're working on today and uh just a little bit has bled out but when this grease gets really hot uh it does get a it doesn't turn into a liquid but it does get a little runny so anyway yeah no issues with the valkyrams in case anybody was wondering uh, all right so what you're going to need to change the oil in an oil bath hub is of course a jack so you can spin the bearings to get the excess oil out and feed in the new uh, i've already got this on a jack stand uh, just to kind of speed the video process up uh, you're also going to need a container to catch the old hub oil in if you had the valcrum caps you're going to need a number five uh, allen key to take the plug out which is right there and of course some hub oil and that's it now opposite of that to change the grease you are going to need a hammer i suggest a, a soft mallet or even a dead blow a flathead screwdriver a stick of some sort that's roughly flat um this is an old piece of trim uh, that i did the last ones with a lot of people use paint sticks just whatever uh, if you know it comes down to it, you can just use your finger to wipe the old out and a grease gun I've got the Lucas Red and Tacky in this because that's what it was serviced with last time. So no worries about them mixing and becoming something that it shouldn't be. All right, first thing you're going to want to do on the grease or the hub oil actually is, is jack the trailer to where that wheel will free spin. It's extremely necessary on the grease fitting which is what we're on right now uh, because you have to spin this wheel in order to spin the bearing in order to push out the oil or the grease and uh, the reason that you don't just want to do it with the wheel on the ground is that you can actually blow the seal out of the back just pumping all that grease in there it's like I might get rained on today there. That'll work for what we're doing. Same thing uh, as the grease hub. Is, uh, you want to go ahead and jack this up so that you can rotate the tire. Let's get to it.
there's one grease hub changed. There's the aftermath of all that. A lot of grease. A lot of time spinning, waiting, scraping. Here's the aftermath of the oil bath. So that's it guys, that's maintenance in a nutshell. As far as the uh, grease goes versus hub oil, uh, I prefer hub oil, always have. Of course, that's what I'm used to. Um, that's what most of the truck trailers run that are sealed units, so. As far as maintenance on your own, uh, with a tri-axle trailer, I mean, I've got to do that hub six times uh, with the oil bath on this one. I've only got to do it four, but if this was a triple axle, you can see how much faster it is to do what I just did uh, with hub oil instead of grease. So I don't know how long I'll play like that. Uh, might be switching those over to oil bath if that's possible i'll look for a conversion but but anyway that's it in a nutshell you guys want to see it so there you go that's uh that's oil bath versus grease we'll see you guys next time